I'm Tim Reiki from Nassau Bay Television, and I'm standing here in Franca's Real Italian Restaurant with Franca Pina Tyro. Uh, Franca, could you tell me uh, what year the restaurant started? 1971. Now, did it originally start as uh, Franca's? No, it was Franco's Real Italian Restaurant. So your, dad's, your dad started the restaurant, and then a couple years ago went ahead and... Several years ago, about 10 years ago, we changed it O to an A. Okay. Uh, now, I know that not only do you have a nice family atmosphere here and good food, but you've also done dinner theater. Um, and it's also got uh, a lot of history involved. As you walk through the restaurant, you see a lot of your dad, because uh, your dad has done, done what to the restaurant? He made everything in here. I mean, all the statuary, people, columns, fountains. Huge mural across the mural, back. And yeah, we'll be showing that probably a little bit later. Everything. Now, the other interesting thing, I think, also, is uh, the history of your dad. If you want to tell us a little bit about yes, your... Yes, this is my, before my father came to this country 54 years ago. He was in the Royal Police. This is a carabinieri. This is actually this actual uniform, and uh, he served about eight, ten years. Now that was mounted police. If I'm, was it mounted police? I know he had yes. a horse. Yes, yes, yes. And then he, this is some memorabilia of them here years ago. As we move through the restaurant, you'll see that the fountains, the statues, and the columns were all made by Franco in cement. He liked to work with his hands. The girls would always tell stories. Franca, Lena, and Nucha would always tell stories about how Papa would be in the backyard or at the restaurant mixing cement to go ahead and make a new statue or add to the fountain. The mural across the back of the restaurant represents Italian life. People were enjoying themselves, dancing, celebrating life. The columns are completely made out of cement and you can see the detail that uh, Franco or Papa added. Uh, the roses, the leaves, the filigree uh, was all made by hand and it's just the delicate detail is amazing. The jungle room is a room that he kind of created for the children. Amongst the statues and the flowers he placed a lot of little plastic zoo animals that the kids can go ahead and try to find um, which makes it kind of fun. The paladins or palatini actually represent the Italian kings and princes and they brought them over from Italy with him. Uh, also that what, something he brought over was the uh, marriage carriage. It's actually a miniature version of the carriage that is used in the wedding ceremony. And here we see the wedding couple. As I said, the statues are all made out of cement. Franco liked to work with his hands and was always making something something new. And, and I've, I've always looked at them and, and just marveled at the detail that he was able to go ahead and create in cement. All of the little details that uh, Papa and Mama put around the restaurant to go ahead and dress it up, uh, to make it a more family-oriented family restaurant, to make people feel welcome so that people would want to come and enjoy some good food and some good friendship. You can see the detail as you look at the statues. This is one of the statues uh, that is off the main room, um, right next to the train room that we'll be discussing in shortly, um, that is just, just beautiful. As I mentioned, the train room was a room that uh, he built this mural or this, this bass relief um, train station kind of situation where he goes ahead and represents a lot of Italy, he represents a lot of things that he saw here in America, and kind of how his uh, life changed um, when he came over here and the things that he did and the things that he did for his family. Um, and there is a train that runs the entire circumference of the room um, that uh, a lot of people like to come and see and it's part of the, the tour that Franca likes to give to the, to the patrons. Um, you'll see uh, horses are well represented uh, in and around the restaurant because of of uh, Papa being involved in the Carabinieri, which is the Royal Mounted Police. Um, so horses played a big part of his life. The statues outside as well in the different grottos, the ducks out by the, by the pond out there. 
and the, the large horse statues, the life size, probably larger than life size um, statues, and the, and the cherubs are things that as you pass by the restaurant kind of catch your eye and make you want to go inside and see what they have to offer at this wonderful restaurant. Good food, family atmosphere, and everybody's treated like friends at Franca's Real Italian Restaurant.